How you doing, mate? You all right? How are you? LA. This feels familiar, doesn't it? Guys, this is set to be an absolute tear-up. I'm really looking forward to this one. So I've seen a little bit about yourself, and obviously I'm no stranger to dealing with you in the MMA sort of world. So what's made you decide to get into boxing? I, I don't know really, mate. I just uh, I was speaking to Jack one night. I said I wouldn't mind you know, having a little crack, and there we are. You always said no when I asked you years ago. What's going on? <laughs> well, it's great to see you in the ring. Uh, so, Daz, a little bit of boxing background yourself. Tell us uh, what you've been doing. Um, normally, I train at Scrappers. I, I run a session on a Wednesday night. I just enjoy the fitness and um, kind of being around it. You know, years ago, I used to go to this chap's gym. I got total respect for a scorpion. I've got family that go there and friends. And, um, yeah, I'm just in it to, uh, you know, stay fit and... It must be hard for you two to get matches. Do you, do you find it's difficult getting matches for, you, for your weight class? Um, well, yes and no, really. I, to, uh, to be fair, I just, you know, my last fight was in Jersey, and, um, yeah, I, I, I just crack along with it. I'm, I'm doing this show purely to raise some money for the gym to get some new equipment in there. My purse is going there and, and all the ticket money. So, yeah, I'm just, you know, staying fit. And it's, um, it's, it's always good to have a goal if you're going to, you know, if, if, if you're going to go to the gym, if you set yourself a goal, then get yourself fit, then, um, yeah, you've got to use it, ain't you, you know? So tell us about your fights that you've had previously. How many fights have you had and what's your record? Um, I've had three fights. I had uh, one loss, uh, one win and one draw. So obviously, Dean's first fight in, in boxing, but obviously Dean's got a bit ahead of a background in mixed martial arts. Is, is that something that phases you? Um, no, not really. I mean, obviously, I respect the guys. He looks fit like me, so it's, it's, it's going to be a bit of a rumble. Um, no, nah, mate, he's obviously got skills. He's, you know, you, uh, you stand up and fight in M&A as well, so, you know, I'm not taking nothing for granted. I'm just going to have a tear up with this chap and enjoy it, like, you know. I think everyone else will. Uh, we'll come back to Dean. So, it must be a little bit different. You've, you've adapted your training for this, I presume. Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, it's been hard. Um, I've been boxing mainly with Sid at the gym. Uh, yeah, it's been, no, it's been all right. You know, I haven't thrown any kicks accidentally. I haven't thrown any knees. I ain't trying to take anybody down. So, yeah, I'm happy. It's a bit of a, it's a different transition to MMA. Um, but no, I, I can't wait. You know, I'm, it's, yeah, something new. So no concerns about slipping an elbow in or a um, little chokehold or anything anywhere, no? <laughs> Only if it goes wrong. <laughs> so you, you say you, your training you've been doing. I mean, obviously, you're training with odds for years and... Oz's background is he's, he's done every martial art and boxing under the sun so you know you've got a great coach there but also Sid as well Sid's background is phenomenal in um, from boxing out of Walcott um, so that's that's got to be a great advantage for you uh, it's a big bonus to have Sid at the gym especially now because not many people down there just box so now I've told him I'm, I've got a boxing matchup it's kind of good to get in with him and you know he's helping me out along the way is this the first of many more um, I don't know really, he's too seen the tower. It was just a random sort of night where I said, yeah, I want to do it. Uh, Kenny got hold of me and then, yeah, there we are. I'm as long as you're not injured for MMA, that's, that's the main thing. Now, then, now I've got no issues then. <laughs> um, you're a bit of an entertainer. I'm quite surprised you didn't turn up in a fong today. So that is, you, you have got it on, haven't you? Um, really looking forward to this one. Again, two guys just here to entertain. Um, really looking forward to this one, guys. So please give them a round of applause and let's see these guys face off. I can't believe Dean's got some of his own height, finally. Okay, thank you very much.